Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. And now, Superman. Mighty visitor from another world with the strength of a hundred men and a physical structure undreamed of and unattainable by earthbound humans. Champion of the weak and the oppressed. Tireless fighter for the cause of truth and justice. When we last saw him, Clark Kent was at Stonehouse in Brentwood. Ghost-like and forbidding retreat of Dr. George Haven Beecham, world-famous scientist and explorer. With him was the doctor's daughter, Elsie, come on a desperate attempt to discover why her father had deliberately cut himself off from his friends and family since his return from his latest expedition to the jungles of South America. Finally breaking into the apparently deserted house, Kent has left Elsie on the lower floor. While he investigates footsteps in an upper room, he finds Dr. Beecham ready to defend himself against intruders with a knife and gun. But just as Kent is about to offer explanations, a ringing scream brings both men racing back downstairs to the library. Everything is in darkness. Kent strikes a match, and they stare about to find that Elsie has vanished. Listen. Elsie! Miss Where Beecham. are you, Elsie? Miss Beecham! Look back at the lounge there. Maybe she fainted and fell. No, doctor. Where's that draft coming from? Quick, maybe she's out that way. That's how we got in. Broke a door down. Come on, doctor. Look, it's open. That's the way she went. She must have seen something or been frightened by something inside the house. Or else she was carried away. The devils, if they've done that, if they're trying to get at me that way. Come on, Kent. Zingri! Zingri! Careful when you go out, doctor. No, not a sign of anything out here. Better get back inside. Where is she? Elsie! Elsie! Doctor, it's not safe out here, I know. Do you think I care about that when they've got my daughter? You brought her here, you're responsible for this. Why don't you go and bring her back? Doctor, I'll do that, only we don't know yet where she is. Now, look here, you go back and search the house. What are you going to do? Elsie! I'll stay out here, and if she's anywhere on the grounds, I'll find her. Kent, you're right. She may be inside after all. Elsie! Elsie, where are you? And I will find her, too. If it's humanly possible. Or rather, Superman will. No time for running around on foot. This is where Superman takes to the air. Too dark to see very well. First off, where did I leave that giant native? If he broke in and carried her off, no telling where she is now. I thought I'd finished with him. But if I didn't and he recovered his senses, this is where he ought to be. Ah, he's gone. Vanished. Now, if I can find him, I may find Elsie, too. What's that? It's a car. One man driving all by himself. Well, I'll just yank you out of that and your car can go where it likes. Hey, 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 what the... Hey, what the... Oh, Chris, hey, let me go. You'll wreck me. Come along. Let go of that steering wheel. You and I are going to have a little talk. No, no. There, now. Come on. Who, who, who are you? Never mind about me. We're talking about you. Where did you come from? And who did you come with? Where are they now? Come on, quick. Talk. Listen, boss. Honest. All I did is drive the car. I met Eddie Hilly. Whose car? The, the fellas that came here. Two of them. Little brown guys. Little? Did you say little? Uh, yeah. Well, no. But they wasn't no giants. You sure of that? You wouldn't lie to me, would you? Oh, no, no. You sure one of them wasn't a giant? A big, tall fellow, almost black? No. No. They were small, I tell you. Both of them. All right. Where did they come from? And... I don't know. Honest. They picked me up in town and hired me to drive them out to Brentwood. Said they'd give me a good pay. That's all. Honest. Well, I think you need a little ride up in the air. No, no, no. I'm giving it to you straight, mister. Honest, I am. If that's all you know, why did you try to get away from here so fast? Why didn't you stop when you saw me standing there in the road? Hey, mister, how did I know who you was? You might have been a cop in that blue outfit. I figured I had enough. Oh, and what made you decide that? Too much funny business. First a lot of yells, then dogs, then a drum beating. It give me the creeps. What else? Plenty. Just as I was getting ready to blow, a big gorilla comes looping along. What? A big black man? <laughs> Mister, that wasn't no man. Never mind that. Where did he go? I didn't wait to see. I took one look and mighty near fainted. And and that's that's all I know. So help me. This time I believe you. Just the same, you're coming with me. Oh no, no, wait, listen. Ah, oh, no, you... you won't get hurt. That's a promise. Uh, hey, 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 we're, we're going up in the air. Hey, no, put me down, mister, put me down. Oh, oh no, wait, wait, please, mister, please. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. All right, 
That's that. Oh. Now, you come along with me. Uh, no, not in that house. It's spooked. I ain't going in there. Oh, yes, you are, and right now, too. But take a look at me first. Hey, you're changed. You got regular clothes on. Right. And if you think you've been flying through the air, you've just been imagining things, understand? What? The... Hey, listen. I know mighty well I was flying. I say you weren't. Unless you want to fly again and much higher. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Not me. Then remember what I say. Now forget all about it. Huh? Oh, 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 sure, sure. I, I, I catch. Yeah, boss, whatever you say. All right. Kent. I say, Kent, are you there? Right here, doctor. Outside the house. Hey, even your voice is different. You remember what I say? Oh, oh sure, sure, boss, you bet. Kent, what luck? None at all, doctor. How about you? Not a sign of a... Well, who's this? Where did he come from? Well, that's what I'm trying to find out myself. Apparently, he drove two little brown men out here to pay a call on you. Oh, he did, did he? Uh -huh. Then it's you I have to thank for the disappearance of my daughter. Oh, no, sir. Not me. I ain't seen nobody's daughter. Doctor, something flew past my head. Yeah, mine too. Hey, what is this? Inside the house, quick! No, no, get Elsie. You can't leave her out here. Doctor, get inside. We'll find Elsie later. Now, quick! You too, come on. Go on there, move. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Doctor, quick. Come on, inside the house. Uh, here we are. All right, block up that doorway now. Come on. Bring that bar. That's it. Uh, that's solid enough, I guess. There we are. <laughs> Mister, what is that out there? I think I'm going crazy. What's going on here? Well, for one thing, those little brown men you brought out here, I think they're doing their best to kill the whole lot of us. Uh, Kent. Ken, just one moment. That that taxi driver, where is he? Is he is he there? It's so dark, I, I can't see. Yeah, right here, Chief. Look here. These these men that you drove out, did they carry anything with them when they uh, when they left the car? Yes, they they did. One of them had a long piece of bamboo. Bamboo, hollow. Was it hollow? Hollow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it was all right. Kent, that's it. What? They, they brought a blowgun to shoot poison darts. Blowgun? And if one of them so much as nicks your skin... What's that? What did you say, Chief? I say keep out of sight. Don't stand in front of those windows. Great Scott! Yeah. There, you see. By no means stand in front of windows. And to think that Elsie is out there somewhere. Oh, Kent, I, I tell you I can't stand it. I, I tell you I can't. Easy does it now, easy. And wherever she is, they haven't got her. Well, how do you know that? Well, because... If they did have her, they wouldn't be peppering us with arrows or darts either. They'd use her as a hostage. Whatever it is they're after. Just a moment. So they're after anything. Well, Dr. Beecham, I'm not deaf and blind, and, and you said yourself that... I? What did I say? Why, when I broke into your room upstairs. You said they'd never get what they were after. Doctor, what is it? Don't you think you'd better tell me? Kent, if, if I do... You'll be in the same position that, that I am. I've sworn to go through with this myself and, and not to put anyone in the danger that I've been in. But, Doctor, I'm in it as much as you are. I... Uh, doctor! Dr. Beecham! What's the matter? Hey, hey, look. He's staggered. He's sick. Doctor! Kent. Kent, I... I've been hit. One of those darts nicked me. I... Doctor, quick. What can I do? There must be something... No. No, I, I know the symptoms. Paralysis. Going all over Steady, me. Steady, Doctor. Quickly, quickly. Doctor, yeah. tell me. Quickly. Tell me. In the, in the right hand pocket, special serum. I'm, I'm the only man that knows it. Quick. Right hand pocket? Yeah. Wait a minute. Okay. Yes, I have it. No. It's a glass tube with a needle. All right, Doctor. What do I do? Oh, no. Too late. Too late. No, no, it isn't, Doctor. It's as if... They won after all. Oh, Ken. Doctor. Me. Doctor, wake up. Listen to me. What do I do with this needle? Doctor. No, Kent, break the tube. Yes, all right. Fill the needle. Right. And push in the shoulder. In your shoulder. Wait a minute. All it can carry. But too, too late now. Too late. No, no. Look, keep awake, Doctor. I'm doing it. I'm doing just what you said. Look. Wait a minute. There. There it goes. And 
Important. Listen to story. Yes. Responsibility. Ken, don't forget. Doctor, that. hang on. Don't let go. You haven't told me yet. Doctor. Doctor, what is it? Ken. Ken, the sacred emerald of the Incas. It may save the whole human race. The emerald. Emerald. Struggling to speak, the heavy form of Dr. Beecham slumps over on the lounge. Has the poison on the dart done its work? Is he too far gone to be brought back by the serum? What strange and unbelievable mystery lies behind the sacred emerald of the Incas? And where is Elsie Beecham? Be with us again next time and follow the story of Superman. And remember, be sure to tune in the next thrilling installment of the amazing transcription feature, Superman! Up in the sky! Look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Superman is a copyrighted feature.